Hello guys, this is Mauro from Printfotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 17046. This new test version of Windows 10 is part of the uh, next feature update due in 2018, which currently we know it as the Redstone 4 or version 1803. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements on this release. On the start menu, when you right click a Microsoft Store app and you go to more, now you can access the settings for that specific app. So you can reset it or access uh, different options depending on the app. So basically it's the same as going to apps, apps and features, and then just selecting the app and going to the advanced options. But now you get a quick access from the start menu. The emoji data on bill 17046 has also received an important refresh so that more of the emojis you like will appear as, as soon as you start typing the words on a touch keyboard. So now if you open the, uh, the touch keyboard and you just type a word, you will see that you will quickly get the related emoji. In addition, there is support for more languages that didn't previously support emoji candidates. Also, Microsoft has tweaked the design of the emoji panel. So when you open the uh, panel using one of the uh, shortcuts, you can browse, search, and then select more than one emoji. For example, like happy face, and let's do the heart, and the panel will not go away until you click the uh, X button or the escape key. Also, you'll notice that the on-screen keyboard buttons now they use the acrylic element of the uh, Fluent Design system and the buttons now are lighter than the background. On Windows 10 build 17046, Microsoft is also making a lot of other changes under the hood for the uh, keyboard, adding in more support for other languages and improving some other languages that was already supported with the keyboard. On this new test version of Windows 10, you can now save and automatically fill you prefer information in address and related forms on Microsoft Edge. Unfortunately, the browser is not working, at least on my installation, so pages are not loading. There is even a, a small demo that Microsoft uploaded on the internet, but it's not even loading on, on the web browser. So I'm just going to use Firefox to load that demo so I can show you how that feature works. If you want to save your entries before going to a website, you can now you now have that option, opening the uh, settings for Microsoft Edge, and on the advanced settings, you simply need to click the uh, Manage Form Entries, and click a new one, and then just uh, fill out the uh, the form and click Save, and that will be saved on the. Uh, web browser and when you're navigating on the internet and you have to uh, fill out a form you can just simply click and fill out the, the form with information that you want to use. Microsoft will also prompt you to save your information if you're filling out a new form and that information is not already stored on on the web browser so you can just later on just simply select that information to fill up a form on any website. Finally I also want to show you a new feature that might be coming to Windows 10, which is basically a new user interface for Cortana on the uh, uh, the desktop. And this doesn't appear on build 17046. It was discovered on build 17040. So now if you tweak the uh, registry, you can now access a preview of the uh, Cortana interface. As you can see right here, instead of just opening the uh, the box next to uh, the start menu, you now get this floating interface similar to the uh, spotlight on, on Mac OS. And all the functionality works uh, works the same as before. It's just the interface that's different. Uh, you, right now you can drag or move it around. It's on preview. It just appear on the uh, at the center of the screen. Let me just type anything. I'm just going to type Microsoft and you will see that we get the uh, the same results if you want to open control panel you can do control panel and just open that and even though it is on a preview 
it works really well and actually is more it's a more pleasant experience than using it from the uh, bottom left corner and if you want you can also uh, just change the uh, the filters to uh, search on the web if you want to do documents email and even people you can let me see if you can uh, access the uh, uh, the filters too and you can also use voice commands but I mean that's working but now how is supposed to work on the uh, final version so this is just a small preview that I want to, to include on on this video if you want to enable this feature on your test build of Windows 10 I will be leaving a link on the uh, video description so you can do it yourself and that's basically all that's new on Windows 10 build 17046 remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing